Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to the new update that is Android 10 Beta 2 version. So in this particular video we will be seeing how to downgrade your phone from the Android 10 Beta 2 version to the stable Pi version that is version 059 or either 060. So let's begin with that. So firstly before we jump into the downgrade process let me confirm you the uh, version that is installed at my site so that that will clarify your doubt so this is on my screen you are able to view android version 10 then apart to this the uh, build number is 424 with the security patch of 5th april 2020 and apart to this uh, let's view the status of camera to api so it is really nice that out of the box asus has provided us uh, camera to api support and that is also level 3 but there is one disgusting thing related to wide one certification so before updating to like this particular android 10 beta 2 version this uh, wide one certification at my side was l3 and still it is l3 some users are saying that brother i got l1 and so on not sure how it's working hopefully asus will find a reliable solution for the same and we will be able to view it and a part of this few users have also complained that devices certified uh, like their device is not certified although uh, there is almost 1% chance that this is this will be but not sure but at my side it is showing me devices certified with the play production certification and so on now let's jump to the downgrade process for that i have already drafted or i would say created a dedicated article for the same on my official blog and the url for the same will be provided to you in the description box below so that you can go over afterward so nothing major has been mentioned in this particular blog few things like how to downgrade from official android 10 beta 2 version 424 to android by version 059 or 060 basically it is a full update that is of 1.52 gb approximately which will downgrade your phone to version 059 or 060 from the version 424 that is android 10 beta 2 so this is a downgrade uh, methods or uh, like download methods for the same so basically as i've told you that we will be doing like we will be providing you two different url one for version 015 and one for version 060 and i have tested both and both are working absolutely fine but for the pur uh, purpose of this particular video we'll focus on 059 so that you will have like lots of options in terms of updating your phone like if someone is facing good battery backup and everything on 59 they can stay if they want they can go back to 060 if someone wants to go to 061 or 63 then they can update or via photo update or again firmware update so for that you just have to tap it here and a file will be downloaded to your download folder but here there is a catch you have to keep that in your external storage be it your micro sd card or either otg pen drive once you have uh, like successfully transferred just restart your phone and reboot to the recovery mode or i would say stock recovery mode so for that you have to like after restarting your phone you have to keep on pressing volume down button until unless you boot to the recovery mode so let's wait till that time we'll boot to the recovery mode so finally we have been booted to the stock recovery mode uh, sorry for the small text but it is the same way it's been displaying on the screen so but again if you want to shuffle between these options you have to use volume rocker buttons either down button or up button and apart to this if you need to select then you have to press the power button so in our case like i have told you that you have to keep that file in the external storage so that's why i'm selecting the fifth option that is apply update from the external storage uh, let me just select it by pressing on power button afterward you have to move to the desirable folder where you have kept it uh, that downloaded for a file on your sd card or otg pen drive so uh, i'm just going to the same folder and i'm just going to the 059 version and apart of this let me confirm you that at this moment it is still 424 that is android 10 version so you can view this 424 and so on so by selecting this particular file i'm just prompting my system to downgrade to or to start the downgrade process so finally the downgrade process has been started and it will usually take five to six minutes so you have to uh, like wait patiently till then do not play with your volume rocker, rocker buttons or either with the power button otherwise your phone will be either hard break or soft break and afterward it will be a mess for you so let's wait till that time it completes so finally the downgrade process has been completed but still we have to do two different steps more so for this you have to go to the fourth option that is wipe data and factory reset because this is a part of the downgrade process so just uh, press power button here and afterward just select factory data reset 
because we have already taken the backup uh, of our phone for this particular downgrade process so it is uh, so it is recommendable that you have to do factory reset and afterward just for the safer side just move to the fifth option that is wipe cache partition so that in 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 the background if any uh, junk file is there while this downgrade process it will be cleared out now we are good to go with the reboot system now so finally it will take nearly about three to four minutes to initiate the phone setup process because we have downgraded and everything has been reset so let's wait till the time we move to the phone setup process so finally the phone setup process has been initiated now we have to complete it as soon as possible so again on the basis of your wi-fi connection just enter it and afterward proceed further let me do it so after successfully entering the wi-fi credential now it is asking few things so again if there will be any pending download or payload for the google play services it will do in the background and afterward proceed to the next screen or next Afterward, it is asking, do you want to set a fresh or copy? I'm just doing do not copy because just for the video uh, purpose. So I'll be skipping the Google account sign up process and so on. So this is the vital part or vital step. Sometime it is asking for the pin and sometime it is asking for the Google account. So I have to enter the last associated Google account here so that it will uh, like able to know that okay it is a legit one and afterward it will allow me to proceed further let me complete this part so just to cut down the time i am skipping the google account setup process so so that we can go over uh, the uh, for, uh, like uh, further steps as soon as possible so let me do it as soon as possible now just for skipping but again when you will be doing if you needed google doc google sheet you can select it and it will download in the background and so on now it is just doing the last step few things so I'm just skipping the security part as well and afterward our phone is now fully set up and it will boot to the home screen. Now let me confirm you again that we are on the version 0.59 and we have been successfully downgraded to the Android Pie. So on my screen you are able to view Android 9 Pie with the version 0.59. So we are successfully downgraded from version 4.24 to that is Android 10 Beta 2 version 2 version 0.59 that is Android Pie based. So this was all from our side related to how to downgrade your Android 10 Beta 2 update to uh, stable Pi version either 0 0.59 or 0 0.60 according to the uh, your likings. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.